Katrina said recently that the best female rapper when she raps is Beyonce. I ain't never heard Beyonce rap. She raps sometimes. Some of her songs. I know Trina find her a motherfucker, and I still want her if she'll still get it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's put that out there then. Trina. She know. I told her to her face. Oh, to her face? Ooh, I told her. Fuck. Okay, I got to hear the story. What happened? Uh, we was in the club, and I was like, damn, that's Trina right there. You know what I'm saying? Trick Daddy introduced us. The baddest you bitch. You know what I'm saying? And I say, Lord, I want it. You know what I'm saying? You said saying? it just like that. I want it. You said, I, I, you know I want it. You know what I'm saying? If you ever, you know what I'm saying, you feel like you need, you know what I'm saying, come holler at me. <laughs> she, just, she just laughed at me. Every time I see her, I say, I'm waiting on you. I've been to be treated before. We, we know each other. Mm. Pretty girl. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. Pretty. No, no kids. Yeah. Yeah, you trying to give her a first kid? I yeah. don't I donate. Yeah? I drop it off. You you'll drop it off. Oh, we're gonna step up. Okay, you just shoot up the club. On the huh? front porch. Front porch. The mailman. Yeah, well, speaking of women that you like, Glorilla uh-huh. has been in your sights. Yeah. And I guess it started when people were asking her why her pants were unzipped a lot. And she said that her twat is too fat. <laughs> and you responded. You said, I'm a part-time gynecologist. Yeah. You were suffering from PCD, fat coochie disorder. No need to worry. It is easily curable by my home remedies. Yeah. Let me know when you need an appointment booked. Yeah. So so that that's your style right there, Glorilla? Uh, yeah. See, this is like with me. I feel like the reason why these ladies be getting all these surgeries and all this stuff is because us men don't compliment them enough. But well, she got her, her, her breasts done. Yeah, she recently. just got them done. Well, yeah. no, they ain't my crush no more. Oh, after she got them done, you don't nah, like her nah, anymore? Nah, it ain't about to say. I just, I got tired of chasing her. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not, how much did you really chase her? Apart from a few Instagram posts and a couple uh, little, little red carpet while, interviews. It's been about a year, you know, so I get tired, you know? For a year, you've been going after Glorilla? About a year now. Okay. You know? Looking at Carla right now. Well, I, I remember, uh, what was it? I think you were on her live. You said, lick your lips again. I like that shit. I'll be crazy about you. I'll never hold you back. I'll protect you. I said, I'll look. What's your finsta? Fuck your main page. I want to know the real you. Yeah. Throw me. Yeah, it's not like me. It is you. <laughs> I'm in a I follow the actual screenshots. <laughs> well, that from, is you. Well, I'm from Beyond, man. I, I, you, listen, don't, don't somebody didn't get this chance to be or somebody in life sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to use it to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with me. I'm going to show you the way. You know? Right. Well, she responded to you. Yeah. And she said, I'm not interested. She said, Frederick. She called you by your full name. Yeah. She said, I'm not interested in your polygamy. Yeah. She said it all funny, though. She kind of, like, <laughs> messed up the word. Yeah. She said she got a man. Yeah. But there's, there's actually a classic hip-hop song called... Uh, the chorus goes, I got a man. And the dude responds, it's a positive case. I was like, what's your man got to do with me? Yeah. Thanks. That's how you feel? That shit just turned me on. Oh, so you like when girls I like got being, men? I like being denied. You like being denied or you like being the side dude? Uh, it depends on the, the situation and the circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Have you it's, ever been a side dude? Yeah, I've been a side dude before. Yeah? I'm pretty sure. I feel all of us have been a side dude before. It just I know it. Have I been a side dude? My listen, I had a chick gay head so good one time. I waited for the nigga to drop her back home. I was waiting in the driveway, and I did not care when she got out of that car. So her man dropped her off, and you were in the driveway was, waiting the driveway for her. For her. Did the man know that you were waiting for her? I don't know. I didn't care. <laughs> didn't care. So you're ready to potentially have a confrontation. It wouldn't be no confrontation. What do you mean? As long as he ain't stopping me. Well... If this was my girl and I seen a dude waiting, yeah. I don't think back then I don't think you wanted he wanted to convert, confront you. Were you a little crazier back then. Yeah, I was different. You were different. Yeah, right. Because I remember you were on a. I watched the the Gillian Wallow, uh, interview, and you talked about how back then you were just really angry yeah. all the time, but that's not the Fredo that I know. Because yeah. whenever we meet up, whenever we see each other, yeah. You always have a smile on your face like you're smiling right now. Yeah, I, I mean, I got to the point. I've never even seen you angry. Yeah, I try not to be. Good. You shouldn't be. Yeah. What's to be angry about? Man, look, look at your life right now. Yeah, but uh, 
I think when when I went to jail, a lot of stuff was happening, and I couldn't like. When you're in jail, you can't do nothing about it. So it was like, am I gonna let sit down, let it stress me out? You know what I'm saying? And nowadays, you know, I just, I just try to, you know, I feel like I've been sad enough. I try to be happy as I can. You know what I'm saying? Whatever happiness is. When's the last time you've been really, really angry? Really, really angry. Last time I've been really, really angry. God damn. Really, really angry. It got levels of angry. I got like pissed off. You got mad, you got hot, you got angry, then you got angry, angry. You got violent. Yeah. That's kind of the height, I think, of anger. I don't think I want to talk about last time I've been angry. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. Well, uh. It's been a long, long time. Okay. That's good. You shouldn't be angry. Because nah. that's when you make the worst decisions. Facts. You know what I mean? I'm sure when you were locked up, there was a whole bunch of people around you that got really, really angry. Yeah. And that affected them for years to come. 